In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how I turn totally oxidized paint into the shiny, glossy paint that it was when you bought it new. Now, let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you guys are here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you are a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So right now I'm working on this Toyota Sequoia and basically what happened is this is a car that's a 2001. It's never been detailed, never been maintained, really never been just kept up with at all and that's about 17 years of not maintaining it now. And so what ends up happening to paint over time and specifically what ends up happening to clear coat is it starts to dull and so you guys can see the sun is out but you don't see like a glossy reflective lustrous surface really you see just like a matte surface as if this is one of those maybe nicer cars that they actually have a matte finish on it of course it's not but that's kind of what you can pick up now you guys see where the sun is hitting the paint right there there's no depth there's no gloss there's nothing but just a matte finish and obviously that's not how this car was made so what I've actually done is started polishing 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 until my arms basically feel like they want to fall off and the results we're getting is right here I'm hoping the camera picks it up because it's difficult sometimes the camera doesn't quite uh, flatter things the way it does in real life so you guys can see the difference between this right here this panel and then this hood right here there's a very very obvious difference there's depth there there's that luster that original shine the gloss here matte finish so basically what I want to show you guys I've done this entire side I want to show you guys how we come back to this original kind of glossy deep clear coat from this. Well, it's really not very complicated at all. Once again, when you don't maintain a car for such for a really long period of time, it ends up oxidizing the paint, the clear coat starts to just become dull. And when that happens, it's very literally impossible to like wax it or anything like that. It becomes very difficult to remove bugs, remove like tar marks, anything like that. You can wash the car, but there's not going to be any shine, there's not going to be any luster, there's not going to be any gloss, and you can't apply a wax to it because there's no smooth clear coat real surface there to the, to be able to buff the wax off so you could apply the wax to this paint but what ends up happening is you see all these streaks and it's really just looks terrible and there's absolutely no shine because once again wax is made to sit on top of clear coat shine the clear coat so how do we fix this problem well you probably already know this but it's going to take some obvious polishing because you're going to have to abrade the paint at a level in order to get the gloss back now depending on how bad the oxidation is is going to kind of determine what polish you're going to use in this case what I like to do is start least aggressive to most aggressive so I have had situations where in, in situations like this where the paint is really oxidized over you know almost two decades I would have to use something like Meguiar's 105 and then Meguiar's 205 in this case in particular Meguiar's 205 is going to be plenty now in conjunction with the Meguiar's 105 I have a finishing pad on here it's a finishing microfiber pad very very soft fibers super super thin and then we have about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch foam interface here and I've got my Rupes big foot here now as a rule I'm gonna keep it on a speed setting of somewhere between somewhere around three I just don't need to exceed three when I'm when I'm going on that first pass when I kind of am finishing polishing with this DA I might kick it up to four just to kind of go quickly over it before I actually remove the polish and move on to a different panel but once again I'm sticking to somewhere around three because that's gonna be plenty for what I'm trying to get accomplished I want the Meguiar's 105 to have a enough time before heating up really high to a high temperature to actually bite into the paint, abrade the paint so we can get the gloss back. So I'm not going to put a bunch of pressure, I'm just going to let the kind of weight of the machine do the work, but let's look at the before so we can be really clear about the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and do this door right here, I'm going to do the bottom part as well, and of course there's going to be areas down here that I'm going to have to finesse kind of by hand, I'm not really going to be able to use a machine to get down there because there's just no way, but I want you guys to kind of see the lights hitting it. It's just that matte finish, there's no gloss, there's no luster, there's no depth of shine. So that's what it looks like before. Now let's go ahead and polish it and we will check out the after. Okay. 
Okay, so the whole door is now done. So what I'm gonna try to do is move a little bit so you guys can catch the light. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but we're gonna go ahead and try. So here's the door that just got polished, just got back shined up to the original gloss and luster. Let me see if I can get the sun in there so you guys can see the difference between this door and then even that back panel right here. So we'll try to make it a little bit obvious. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up in the camera between these two spaces right here, polished, not polished huge 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 difference so it's very simple it's not difficult to figure out not like a ton of experience necessary you guys can see the depth of shine from the light as you should so you guys see how now it looks deep now it looks glossy now it's the luster is back and on white paint it's difficult to do but you guys can see it's coming back little by little it's coming back and now this surface can be waxed now it can be protected so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is finish the whole car and then bring you guys in for the finished look so you can see the before and after we'll do this one more time you can see not polished even these little kind of brown spots where people have put their fingers to close the door has started to really just stain even polished not polished polished huge huge difference. All right guys, so the polishing is finished and the oxidation is basically fixed and it is actually the next morning now, this is part of the video, because this turned into more than a one day job. So I wanna go ahead and show you guys kind of what happened and what the paint looks like now and kind of how I revised my strategy and why it took so long. So now that it's in direct sunlight, you guys can see a whole lot better kind of the difference between what was before and now what is. I'll actually start at the hood here so you guys can see how the sun hits the hood and you see the reflection, you see the depth, you see the gloss, you see the original luster that was there when you actually bought this car. Now there's some swirls and stuff, which is obviously very expected. It's a 17 year old car. Once again, the point of this is to bring back this gloss. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down the whole side of this car. Now it's not finished. The windows are not done. The wheels are not done. You know, I'm gonna have to still do some many uh, kind of more steps on this car to finish. But the main point that I wanna make, you can see right now, especially in the sun, you see how it's glistening you see how it's shining you see how you could see a reflection in the paint now because once again that gloss has been totally restored and so as you guys are looking at this you can see the difference between that matte finish and I'll kind of bend down here and try to get some good uh, different angles for you guys you can see the step ladder reflected in the paint right here on these old Toyotas these 2001s this is a one stage paint job and so it's a little bit different from kind of modern day sort of clear coat but the point Point still remains the same you guys can see that gloss you can see it glistening and this was all done now let me explain to you guys kind of how I revised my polishing tactic because what was working and what wasn't working so originally when I started this job my first response was to use Meguiar's 205 finishing polish because in a lot of cases oxidation can be taken care of just with a finishing polish however the more I started polishing the paint the more I realized that Meguiar's 205 was doing a good job but it wasn't going to do a perfect job it wasn't going to restore it to the condition I needed and it wasn't really removing the full oxidation that I needed it to remove so I actually switched to show car power bright now I want to explain to you guys what this is it's a body shop safe polishing compound and I want to read you the directions it says right here that this polish is recommended to remove wet sand scratches from all refinished or factory paints and it may also be used to remove oxidation and to brighten colors and so once I applied this after I did the Meguiar's 205 because I realized that was not going to be enough this is a more aggressive, definitely more abrasive uh, compound. I would call this a compound rather than a polish, so I had to kind of compound this paint to accomplish this, but it removed all of that oxidation, and then I followed up with Shokar Renew It, which is a high gloss polish, so it was like a two-punch combo, kind of the first, the Power Bright from Shokar was going to remove the oxidation, and then the Renew It is going to restore the gloss, it's going to restore the depth of shine, it's going to restore the glossy look that I need, the shine that I want when the sun hits it for the customer to see and so I ended up kind of having to do a two-step polish two-step compound in order to accomplish this job so this job took a little bit longer than I was anticipating originally however when you get results like these and I'll give you guys one last look it's difficult to argue with so you guys can see it really really looks incredible if you compare it go back to the beginning of the video and see what this paint looked like before it really is just totally totally different and sometimes the camera doesn't really flatter it it's a little bit underwhelming but once again 
these old Toyotas are a little bit difficult to deal with because it's a one stage paint job and so it's a little bit different from the clear coat that we put on nowadays and so the one thing we know about these is that the good thing is they can always need correcting because it's so easy to mess them up so once again guys really just want to give you guys that inside look of what this paint looks like now and there you have it so if you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up button, and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments below, because I always read those, and I'm sure to get back to you guys as fast as I can. And if you guys would like to get your hands on any of the products or tools that I used in this video, below in the YouTube description box, I'm going to hook up Amazon links to everything I used. I'm going to hook up links to the pads I used, to the Rupes Bigfoot DA polisher I used, and also to the two main polishes from Showcar that I used. If you want to buy any of those things, definitely use those Amazon links, because it does give this channel a very, very small commission, but it helps this channel stay alive, so I can continue to give up awesome content just like this all the time. And if you're new to the Wilson Auto Detailing community, then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with videos all the time just like this on products, tools, strategies, communication skills, business skills, and so much more, all in an effort to help the pro detailers become more successful and profitable in their businesses. And I share the same strategies that turn my business into a full-time income with only part-time hours. So if that interests you, definitely subscribe. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard, and I'll see you guys in the next video.